take two, I guess. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tara Quator. It's Saturday. It's, yeah, it's Saturday, October 12th, 2024, day 286. Give me 10 days! This is take two. I oopsied something fierce by putting some uh, personal information on the monitor by accident. Because uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, anyway, I am not using my old webcam anymore. Because it, it's 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 toast. If, if I leave it running for more than a minute, it just completely fails and crashes. I mean, you saw that glitch when I was last using the webcam on here. And um, I, ha I literally had to use my phone and it, it was a pain in the butt. Well, I'm using my phone right now. I'm, I, I'm using my phone as my PC webcam. It takes a little bit more work to do because searching on YouTube right now is most of the stuff on their front page when you search PC or phone as PC webcam. Uh, most of the people that talk about it want you to download all these third-party applications and stuff onto your phone and your PC. And, uh, well, I looked at all the reviews for those. They're mostly unfunctional, loaded with ads, and most likely spyware. So uh, don't do that. No, do not do download third-party applications onto your iPhone or your Android device. Uh, in fact, I'm using an Android phone. I'm using a Samsung. And Samsung didn't even explain it really well. It's like, use your phone as a webcam. And they don't even have the updated stuff after they've partnered with Microsoft. So uh, the way I did it is... Um, if you have Windows 11, which uh, I suggest you should have Windows 11 because it's um, a lot more, it's, it functions better than Windows 10 and uh, we don't talk about Windows 8. If you're, if you're using Windows 8 and 8.1, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But no, do, do not use those. Um, just stick with Windows 11. It's more functional than Windows 10 anyway. You should be on it at, at this point. Um, uh, earlier in this year, they rolled out for the Windows Insiders, and now it should be available to all Windows 11 users now, from what I can tell, because uh, I don't think I'm part of the Insider program. If I am, I must have done that a long time ago. But um, you use the Windows Link system, and you Bluetooth your phone to your computer, so you connect those and you use Windows Link and you go through all the general setup. Uh, there's a, there is a guy that I was watching some of their tutorials, but I can't wait. Can I let me see if I can pull this up at all? Uh, not this guy. Who was it? Um, was from uh, I think it was, yeah it was the new feature uh, use your phone as webcam in Windows 11. It's one of their new features. Uh, that that person posted about it six months ago, but it should be working now. Let me see if I can move this over and uh, make sure I'm not revealing information. But it was this video right here by Tech Based. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna start it up. I'm gonna pause it. Because uh, you're not gonna, uh, I could I could set up to hear my desktop audio, but if I do that, I'll be extra careful about it, so we don't end up hearing um, my um, PC through the microphone. So what I'll do is I'll just mute this real quick. We're gonna scroll down because someone mentioned in the comments where uh, use as connected camera. So down here. Uh, for those who can't you uh, find the use connected use as a connected camera setting, so once you uh, make sure your phone also has the um, Windows Link application, and um, you um, have that uh, start that running and make sure that your phone and your computer are on your same um, local home network, and then um, you'll go to your uh, settings. Bluetooth and uh, Bluetooth and devices and mobile devices. Uh, once you've gotten them connected through Link, turn on uh, allow this PC access to your mobile device, and you click on Manage Devices. And in his video, it was 
um, if you come down here to setup, let's see. I have it muted at the moment. So, uh, oh, you poor thing. You even put your personal info in there. Why Why would you do that? But uh, yeah, you're, you you want to use the phone link right here in your Bluetooth and devices. Use phone link and it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely more functional. And by the look of it, compared to the... Let me move that aside over here. Compare if I if I compare this to say the third party apps when you try to do a YouTube search on how to use your phone as a webcam, um, they also uh, complain that they drain your phone battery horrendously. Well, looking at this, I've been um, well. This is really it's take. This is yeah. This, this is take two because I accidentally pulled some information up. Uh, on my monitor didn't I looked at that I was like oh oops <laughs> but um yeah it does not drain anywhere near as much as those third party apps that just blow your whole setup with ads and crash and all these laggy things because they're third party applications what do you expect I don't want all those third party diddles on my computer nor do I want them on my phone so the fact that it works natively and it's unfortunate that people are not updating their videos to say, hey, Windows 11 does this natively. But most of the time, I am of the assumption that the reason why people do not update those videos is because if they're talking about third party applications that you download from an app store and on the webs on the you know PC web browsers, it are partially I'm of the assumption that they are also being to some degree paid by these third-party applications to say, hey, we have this app. You should download it. And then uh, when when you're suggesting something like that, always, 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 always read the reviews before you download. Don't look at just the rating. Look at the reviews. I looked at the reviews, and most of them say they don't function, are packed with ads, drain their phone battery, and... They act like spyware because they heat their phones up like crazy. And my phone already has an e overheating problem. It, over, it, it uh, Ever since I got it, it loves to get really, really hot. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm not going to keep this one very long. This is mostly me um, testing my phone out as a webcam to see how functional it is. And um, I got to say, I'm impressed. Uh, it works as the webcam. My major gripe so far using it as a regular webcam, which uh, I didn't want to do right now because I I, I like doing this anyway. <laughs> but um, what I did see is if my phone is vertical, using the camera that way, the the standard the uh, basic webcam app or camera app on the on Windows. It, it crops the outer edges, so you just get that um, those black borders in vertical mode, which means I'll probably need to go in again to those settings and get it vertical so you don't have those black borders. But uh, using it with VC Face, which is the application I use for VTuber, it uh, making making sure that the camera app is turned off because they they conflict with each other. But um, using it that way, it wor it it works just fine. Uh, obviously, I'm I'm moving around fine, and in fact, um, having this setup, I'm of the opinion that there's a good chance this will work better than my old uh, Nexigo webcam. So I'll, I'll be doing more tests, and I definitely know that. Um, we 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 are looking at going back to streaming, but I, it's the question of are we going to do it here on YouTube or are we going to go back to Twitch and do it there? Um, it's a good question, but we do want to do some streaming of some more simple games. So we definitely want to just stream the absolute grind fest that is Gundam Breaker Four. I can still talk about my gripes about that game, the fact that it's gunpla models rather than the actual mobile suits having an actual mobile suit plot because uh my first real treat 
of a Gundam game was Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2 or, you know, Gundam Musou 2. And the really, really good one was Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. That was a delight to play. The fact that it had cross and mobile suit pilots having their crossover plots. And unfortunately, with Gundam Breaker 4, it's gamers that it, it's it, it, if there's one thing in media that is utter, um, I hate using the word, but cringe. Um, in anime, what I do not like are characters acting out in a play because we, I already have the connection that the, these are fictional characters, but fictional characters playing fictional characters is horrendously obnoxious and, well, cringe. I, I don't like it. And I kind of got that sensation where I'm playing a character who is playing a character in a game. So a game in a game is not something I'm very fond of. It 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 feels... There's no impactful story to it. So when you want to get immersed in a story and they're like, well, you're playing as a as a character who's playing in a game. Then there's there's no real stakes. Where are the stakes? Where's the story? Where's the where's the true character development? You know, and that, that's just my gripe with the game. The, the mobile suits are done really well. It's just I, I'm not big on the very toy feeling. I mean, I, I was always that way. I, I, I like, I, well, I, I like good mobile suit Gundam stories. How about that? And that's why when people, uh, some of my friends are like, oh, you should watch Gundam build fi fighters. And I'm like, no, this is all toy stuff targeted for kids. I mean, even as a kid, I didn't like shows that were about toys. I, I liked shows where they were actual characters with actual depth and, where the shows took us seriously, even though we were kids, rather than saying, you're a kid, you're too young to hear these these more serious plot lines. No, give me the serious plot lines. I mean, that's why in terms of character development plots and how characters interact uh, in, in the Gundam franchise, believe it or not, Gundam Wing was masterful at character political plot lines. It was masterfully done. Don't get me wrong. It's a... As a kid, we watched it because it was Mobile Suits. It was the first we really got in the West. But then as like an older teenager or, you know, like a teenager, I would try to watch it again. I'm like, this is really slow because I, I had, at, by that point, I had things like, Gundam Double O, well, mostly uh, Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny to compare to Gundam Wing went, this is really, really slow. So then I, com and then as an adult, I was like, okay, I got to try watching Gundam Wing again. I watched it and I'm like, the character plot lines were masterful. The fact that they expertly planned out a you know like a coup d'etat kind of stuff and they did it really really well like th those characters they, they they had a plan they were able to execute it there were people trying to foil those plans with their own plots it was it's it's that's how you do a good story i mean yeah it was slow but i think it needed to be slow if you know what i mean but yeah that but with Gundam Breaker 4 as a game where you're just playing characters who, my goodness, like why they, they even at the, in the end of that try to go and pull a mobile fighter G Gundam plot in there for no particular reason where there are no stakes whatsoever. And the characters are aware that this plot is dumb. Why, why is it that Namco Bandai and Sega are so overwhelmingly obsessed with hating themselves and being self-aware that what they're doing is lame. 
I, I, I don't understand why. I mean, if you were to try to watch the anime um, Uncle from Another World on Netflix, you'll understand what I mean about being self-deprecating and painfully self-aware that they're hanging on to a past that has long faded away kind of thing. And they're like, you know what? We're going to hold on to this because Sega. It, it was so bad. And I'm seeing more titles going into the self-deprecating thing. Like the past was also like we were outcasts in the past and we're even more so now it's, it's annoying. I I, I like substance, you know, I, I like substance in my plot lines and, um, I feel like that we, we just need good writers and we need to come up with better ideas. Do better. Do better. You have so, so much to your Gundam franchise. And you went with people playing a video game, being characters in a video game while you're playing a video game. It's it's a little too on the nose for me. But at least the at least the gameplay mechanics are good. The mechanics are good, but the plot is just oh my goodness, it's so bad. Anyway, that's going to be enough for that. I've done plenty of testing out with this webcam function, and I am I am pleased. I am pleased enough to say we'll probably be doing we'll be doing this best we can from now on when we use webcams. But this is Terra Quator, Saturday, October 12, 2024, day 286. We will see you all tomorrow on Sunday. See you around, everyone.